Hi there, my name is Laura and welcome to another video. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate your comments because I use your comments to get new ideas for videos. So keep those comments coming. On this channel, we discuss all things horsey related. English, Western, horse showing, horse care, all those things. All things horsey related and how you can develop your horse, your riding, and yourself in general into a better, more improved horse person. It's not just about horse showing, it's just about information that you can use in your everyday riding with your horse so that if you do decide to go to a horse show, you're informed and you know what to expect when you get to the horse show. Today I'm going to share with you the difference between equitation and hunter. What's the difference? So let's get started. Stick around to the end because I do have some pictures that we're going to compare hunter versus equitation with them. So stick around to the end. The big difference between hunter and equitation is Hunter is about the horse. Hunter is when the judge is judging the horse. The horse's performance, the way it lifts its legs up over top of the jump, the way the horse moves when it goes around the ring, the horse's performance when it's going in, into the competition. Equitation, on the other hand, is about the rider. It's about the rider's form over fences, whether they have a release or not, whether their heels are down, or even if they're on the correct diagonal or not. Generally speaking, hunter is for the horse, equitation is for the rider. In hunter, it's the horse. If in hunter you have a refusal, that's really bad. Equitation, if you have a refusal, that's also really bad because a refusal is a reflection on the rider's ability to get that horse over the jump. In Hunter, if you have a rail down, if you knock down a rail, that's bad. In Equitation, it's debatable. Usually it's bad because the horse will get a rail if it's because of something that the rider did. Generally speaking, if you have a rail in Equitation, that's also bad. In Hunter, the horse's form is very important, and it's the horse's performance and its form over the entire round, and also over each individual jump, whether they have their knees up or whether they're hanging their knees, that is really important. The best mover should be placed very high, but also the horse with the best form over fences should be very high. In equitation, the horse's form isn't really that important. Getting to the correct spot is important, for the rider, as a reflection of it is the rider's ability to get the horse to the right spot. But the actual form of the horse over fences is not really considered. It very much helps if your horse has a good form over fences. It just kind of finishes your whole picture. But the actual form of the horse over fence is not so much. In the hunter, your horse should have a nice round bascule with his knees up and the horse rounding, getting to the correct spot. Equitation that is secondary. That is not considered. It's the rider that the judge is looking at. And actually, if your horse has a really nice round jump, that's harder to sit to. So oftentimes, equitation horses have kind of a flat jump. Their back is flat, so it's easier to stay on and look nice when you go in the equitation class. In the hunter classes, it's not so important about the rider position. In the equitation, however, the rider position is the most important thing. So let's look at a few riders and a few horses and tell me what you think. We've got three pictures here from people who have sent in for position reviews, but let's look at their horses as well as them and take a look to see what you think about them. So let's take a look at the rider position and the horse position. First of all, let's look generally at the rider. You can see here this rider, it looks like she's in a riding lesson. There's no horse show going on. She's got some nice things going on here. She's got her eyes up, the reins are closed around. She's got the weight down in her hair. We'd like to see maybe if her stirrup should go up a hole and keep her seat over the seat of the saddle. If you want more in-depth review of this position, take a look at this video right up here, here where I did a position review of this rider. So let's take a look at the horse's legs. Specifically, is what the, what the for the hunter, we want to look at the horse's front legs because that is what tells the judge mostly what it is over top of the jump that the judge wants to see. Are the legs level and even? Are the knees up and even? Not so much. So 
this rot this horse would probably not place very well in a hunter class because the rider the the rider's knees the horse's knees aren't up and aren't level. Now it's very difficult to get that to happen when they're jumping this big, right? So maybe the horse would jump differently if it were over a bigger jump, might make more of an effort, make more of an effort to get the, the legs up and uh, out of the way. So let's look at the different next rider. So here we have a rider, unfortunately it's not really a good side view picture, but you can see what's happening in this picture. Looking at the rider, the equitation of the rider, you can see the rider's heels are down. You can see that the rider's eyes are up. You can see that the rider's hands is a straight line, elbow, hand, horse's mouth. These are all really good things that a judge would want to see. But keep in mind too, that this is a snapshot. This is something, a still photograph at the moment in time. But when you're judging in a horse show, that happens instantaneously and they're on to the next jump so you have to make a quick decision on gee was her here we're here we're here were her heels down were they really or were they not down so you have to make a quick decision here we can see your heels are down there's a lot of weight in your heels so I'd like to see your seat over the middle of the saddle more and not get so in front of the head of the horse but let's look at the horse's front legs are the horse's knees up yes you can even see that the horse's forearms are above the horizontal which is fantastic they're in line with his nose it doesn't get much better than that so you can see that this horse's form as he's taking off for this jump is really quite good and if you compare that one to the previous horse where this gray horse is got one left one leg his left leg is left behind so those things will be marked against you so this is good by the way, if you're ever taking a photograph of a horse for a sale ad, make sure you get both knees up and level. Don't have them hang in one knee. Now let's look at this final rider. Looks like this rider's in a horse show. She's on a nice, beautifully clean horse. And you can see that the position of this rider, let's look at the rider first, looks pretty good. Seats in the middle of the saddle, the weights are down, she's pinching with her knee a little bit. She's got a little bit, a bit of a bend in her elbow that you have to watch out for. Her hand should be dropped down a little bit, but overall she looks pretty polished, right? She's got a, she's dressed for a horse show and she looks pretty polished. Let's look at the horse. Are the horse's knees up? One is up and it could be again that the picture was taken before the horse or after the horse has made the arc for the jump and he's reaching for the ground now so one of his legs has dropped down but let's just say that it that it hasn't so you can see that one of his knees is up one of his knees is on is not up so based on that you can see that it's maybe not a very good jumper based on what we see right here the previous frame in this video might have shown something completely different. It might have shown that both knees were up and really tight. But right now, based on this photograph, it's hard to see. If they were both up, like his left leg, I'd say, wow, he's very nice. But he's reaching out with that right front leg. So you have to be careful about that. So here, there's three comparisons. Based on these three pictures, which horse would you place first? Put it in the comments below what horse that you would place first based on these three pictures that we have here. Are their knees up? Are they level? Is the horse jumping nicely with a round bascule? Take a look at these three pictures. Which one would you place first? And again, based on these pictures, which rider would you place first? Could be totally different than the horses. Put it in the comments. I'd love to hear it to see what you did. My name is Laura. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and I really like your comments. Keep the comments coming in because it gives me some really good ideas of what we can talk about on these videos. If you've got a photo you'd like for me to take a look at, send me an email, thistleridge at hotmail.com. Thanks now. Bye. Now go use this stuff. Go hug your horse. Go use this stuff. Raise your standards. Go use this stuff. Thanks now. Bye.